Okay, should we talk about something really, really boring when it comes to social media? The word strategy. I have always hated the word strategy as a social media trainer. I've hated it when people have said to me, can we go through our strategy? Or can you advise me on what we should include in our strategy? There is something about the word that just wants me to go to sleep. And I'm probably guessing a lot of you are the same. It reminds me of sitting around a boardroom and all looking very serious about what is going to be our strategy to move forward with. Of course, that is the kind of voice you have to use when in the boardroom. Well, strategies don't need to be like that. You know what, a strategy really, it's like a plan, but with a bit more involved. So it's like a kind of a, a plan with extras. Does that sound better than a strategy? Absolutely. So let's talk about our plan with extras when it comes to social media. What do we need to think about? Well, first of all, your strategy should start with the end in mind. Why are you even on social media? What is the end point of this? What is the business objective for you using social media? So that really needs to form the basis of your strategy. What is the blooming point of doing this? What's the point of wasting our time on social media? What do we want to get out of it? So that's number one, the most important thing that your strategy needs to include. That's what makes it a strategy instead of a plan because you're now gonna work out your plan to achieving that objective. Okay, we can get rid of the word strategy now. We can move on with the word plan. So now we need to plan for how we're gonna achieve that objective. So we need to first think about who our audience is going to be. So if we have an objective in mind, we need to also have an audience in mind. We need to know who we're trying to attract to us on social media to get us to that objective. For example, if your objective is to generate more online sales and you sell accounting software, chances are the audience you're going for isn't 15 year old Harry Styles fans. Um, I'm guessing that you have a much more specific audience in mind for that. And so you need to get clear on who your audience is and that should be outlined in your strategy or plan too. Then once you've got an idea of that, you need to think about which platforms those people are using and which platforms you're going to focus most of your efforts on. And then we get into the bones of the content of your strategy. What are your main content themes? What are you gonna be talking about on social media that leads that audience to that end objective? Other things that you want to include in your strategy include things like how you're going to get engagement and how you're going to engage back, how you're going to handle negativity and criticism and how you're going to manage the kind of the customer service element through your social media, what tools and resources you need. So if you're creating video content, for example, then obviously you're going to need something to record that video on. You might need software such as editing software. So what tools and resources you need, who is involved, what their main job roles are in terms of you know, generating this content for social media and who they're going to be and when they're going to do it and what they're going to do. But then you also need to start thinking about the end. So what are you going to measure? How are you going to make sure that all of that activity is going to lead you to this end goal? And you're going to measure, you're going to look back over your stats on social media and you're going to see if it is actually working or not. Now that's a very, very loose plan for what is included in your strategy. Of course, you need to really go through this in much more finer detail than I can in this short video. But it's also important to remember that your strategy is not set in stone. Just because you came up with that strategy once doesn't mean that's it now. It's there forever and you cannot change it. In fact, I would recommend that you measure every month and you revisit your strategy every month. You just look and go, okay, are we still on the right track for getting that end objective? Do we need to shift things up slightly in order to achieve that end objective? So if you don't yet have a strategy in place, I'm setting you an action right now to stop this video at the end and then grab yourself a pen and paper and start jotting down some of the main bullet points of your strategy. Then I want you to spend some time putting it together formally, typing it out, printing it out, having it there for you to look at all the time so that you are always 100% focused on that end objective when it comes to your social media activity. And good news if you're a Planet Social Media member, I have just uploaded a video all about social media strategy. And it goes into much more detail than I have in this video. And if you're not yet a Planet Social Media member and you'd love to learn more, not only about social media strategy, but lots and lots of other elements of social media growth too. In fact, there's over 40 videos 
on Planet Social Media that are designed to help you grow your business on social media. As well as that, there is an action list so you can take actions that lead you to success. There's a community to ask your questions and every two weeks you can come and join me for a live call. And if you're not there yet, then come join me by going to planetsocialmedia.co.uk and I will see you on there. Bye-bye.